Hello, my loves, mi amores, welcome. Wow, thank you for being here, you guys. I hope you guys are doing well. Yes, we are here for another pick a card reading. How are you feeling? You guys, please don't forget to comment below. And also don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you know my videos are uploaded, you guys. Also, welcome to anyone who is new to my channel. Really great to have you here. Um, for those of you who are new, I am a psychic medium. I do read tarot intuitively. I start with the tunneled message and then I move on to the description of the cards. I am clairvoyant. I am clairaudient. I am a medium. I do offer mediumship based readings, you guys. All that information is down below. I also want to say if you have emailed me to book a personal, please give me some time to get back to you guys. Um, you know, I got a lot going on, middle of a move, a transition. So there's a lot happening and I would really appreciate your patience. So those of you who have been patient with me, thank you. My current clients, thank you. You are fantastic. I appreciate you. I do want to start off this space with Archangel Michael. I do want to start off this space with a lot of gratitude um, and just an overall uh, thank you for b bringing all of your high vibrational energy, bringing a lot of your your wonderful energy in terms of your positive comments. Um, we are here to support each other. You know, my focus for this channel is to bring everybody um, empowerment, okay? And I want all of us to help each other. These are definitely some trying times, so we all need a lot of support, and I'm hoping to keep it that way, Okay. Um, I do want you guys to check out my Instagram for testimonials, reviews. I do pick a card readings on there. Um, I have a bunch of cool stuff on there if you guys want to just check me out. And uh, yeah, so if you guys would like to donate so far, thank you so much for those of you who have donated. I really appreciate you. I do have my link below. I have my Cash App. I have my Amazon wish list. I have my Indie Deck wish list. And I also have my... Um, my PayPal. Okay. So with that being said, if you're feeling extra generous, go feel free and, you know, uh, donate. That would be great. I would highly appreciate it. I do have, um, some new shout outs. I will go ahead and shout. Oh, actually Tiffany, Tiffany. Wow. Thank you for your generous donation on my cash app. I mean, I'm in shock. Literally your kindness, my ancestors, they're going to bless you. Bless your heart. Sarah, thank you so much for your um, desire to uh, gift me a indie deck. Thank you. Thank you. I, I definitely tuned into what's happening and these blessings are coming into you. Okay. They're, they're sprinkling all over you. My ancestors love you. Also, um, my ancestors want to give a big shout out to anyone who has you know, communicated kindness than really been a support system and, and just sharing your gift of compassion is big enough for me and I do appreciate it. Okay. Wonderful. Thank you. Let's move into the ancestors. What do the ancestors have to say to you right now? You know, I get real in tune with these ancestors. So let's see what's happening in your life. What's really important for you right now to know. Okay. I actually decided to make a swap here. Okay. Pile one is going to be the Lioness Oracle Tarot. Pile two is the Wild, Wildwood Tarot that was gifted from a subscriber. Thank you. And the Crystal Tarot, which was gifted from a subscriber as well. You guys are amazing. I'm, I'm using these decks for us. Get some fresh energy here going. Yes. Okay. If you need more time, please pause the video if you need more time. Okay. Okay, pile one, let's jump in. What do the ancestors have to say to you right now? Let's see what's happening with the ancestors for pile one. Okay, this is gonna definitely be about your self-identity, pile one, your sense of purpose in life. 
surrender the need to control. Listen, some of you guys have been fighting against the current is what I'm getting. Um, I'm getting a lot of energy surrounding fighting something that needs to change in your life or even something that is pretty much changing. Okay. I feel there's an ending to something. Some of you guys have been struggling to let something go or to let someone go. So let's see here. Ancestors, what do you have for pile one? Create your purpose. Listen, a lot of you guys have a strong connection to the rain and to water. There's a need for purification and a dance of purification. So your ancestors, you know, they were people who really valued the weather. There was something about the weather. They really um, honored the sun. They really honored the elements, water, air, fire, earth. They really honored um, the earth as a way to purify, okay? So some of you guys are definitely guided to use this process of purification um, in regards to, there's something about a rain dance, okay? Using the water to purify right now is really important, you guys. Your ancestors are asking you to tune into your, your spirit, your spirit, your life force. I'm getting a lot of Wow, you guys, listen, I'm getting a lot of weighed down energy. So some of you guys are moving through a very tough time where maybe you might even be um, questioning your faith or you're wondering if, I, I don't know, I'm feeling a defeated energy here, okay? So queen of the moon, yes. Again, create your purpose. This is a perfect card. Your ancestors are saying this is all about you and the gifts that you are offering yourself, the moon goddess. You guys have a strong connection to the moon, to the water, to the purification process of your life. Some of you guys literally have parents who may, maybe never really supported you or they never cared to nurture this connection in terms of, you know, your your inner child, like your inner child is really showing here. I'm having a vision that there was a lot of feelings of being left out in the cold when you were growing up. So I feel like your ancestors are saying, listen, we understand that things are hard right now. Take, take that pain and transmute it. Take that pain and transmute it because you have a bigger purpose in life. You have a, a very, very strong purpose in life, okay? And I feel like this definitely involves with your spiritual practices. They want you to start tuning into purifying yourself. I'm getting there's a lot of dark shadow energy around you guys. Um, you might be around people who are pretty negative or you're picking up debris that's very negative and it's weighing your soul down. It's like weighing your spirit and your psyche down. So your ancestors are saying, listen, allow yourself to purify with us. They're, they're saying, please talk to us. You know, I'm also seeing, you know, if you're going to do a ritual, do it around the full moon, align yourself with your spiritual practices, align yourself with the faith of the moon, the stars. Okay. Your ancestors are saying you are in your own way, baby. What's up? You got growth here coming and you're stunting your growth. Some of you guys feel like you don't have roots or you're struggling with feeling like you have a map to where you're supposed to go. I feel some of you guys, um, I don't know why I'm hearing middle children. Maybe you guys are the middle child or you kind of navigate life as a middle child. Um, you're looking for your identity, but it's like you're looking outside of yourself instead of inside of yourself. There's a need to really go within to trust that the answer is not outside. Your ancestors are saying, listen, we share the same bloodline. We, we share the same DNA. You don't need to look for it out there. Talk to us. Contact us. Okay. So there's a need to really trust your guidance here. You have the world and the moon inside of you. 
something about your feet, you guys. Some of you guys might be having feet problems or there's an energy here of root chakra energy, but more importantly, your feet, you know, your feet have, they, they have um, chakras to them. So some of you guys need to connect with the earth and align yourself with healing your feet chakras. There's some kind of distorted energy around the way you're moving. And this is also, I feel, manifesting in terms of your physical health. But what's happening is um, this is a direct relationship to your feeling of not being rooted. This is about your identity. This is about do you belong or not? And you absolutely do. They're saying you need to remember that you come from the earth. You need to remember that you come from the earth. You are a part of the earth. You are a part of Gaia. Okay. Again, as I saw that vision of you guys going through a lot of, you know, darkness, you guys are working through a lot of your shadow work. You're working through a lot of your own inner growth, your transmutation. You're really working through a lot of your, um, I'm hearing there's a blockage in your prosperity because of how you are uh, letting others influence you. Some of you guys have a really, really toxic environment and I'm sorry, but everything that challenges you is teaching you. Everything that challenges you in life is teaching you. So the ancestors are saying, how can you take all the negativity that's being thrown at you and how can you, you know, transform it into something more positive? How can you transform it into that alchemy, that creation into something new? You know, one of the hardest things in life that I've had to learn is, you know, we can't change people. We can't change people. People are going to do what they're going to do, you know, despite us wanting, you know, a change, despite us wanting, um, despite us wanting a specific outcome, we, we can't change how people react. We can only, what the only control we have is the control of self. And your ancestors, listen, they're saying, put yourself as a priority. I'm hearing, put yourself as a priority. Recognize where you are limiting yourself because they're trying to give you abundance. I'm hearing they've been trying to pour into you, but I'm almost getting your ancestors are upset here, specifically um, a masculine. They're like, listen, you've had your clothes, your, your hands closed. You can't receive with your, your fists closed up, right? Like you have to allow yourself to... Receive with an open hand. There's a lot of pride in your lineage, okay? There's also, I'm getting a lot of courage. I'm getting a lot of bravery, a lot of um, warrior energy, a lot of black, orange, and red, okay? You guys are very strong, but ultimately, you really got to allow yourself to give in to your strength, like tap into your inner strength and don't get in your own way, especially because I'm hearing there's been a lot of people in your environment trying to trip you up. Your ancestors aren't happy with that. They got something else coming for them. Trust. Okay. Specifically this, this masculine energy that's an ancestor. They're saying you need to have faith in your, your inner compass, have faith in yourself because the only thing that can rock you is yourself. The only thing that can move you from your center is yourself. And if you haven't reached that point yet, your ancestors are saying, we want you to tune in to your power so you can understand that you are divinely protected, you are divinely guided, and nothing is going to get in the way of your progress if you don't allow it. So messages from your ancestors. Some of you guys, um, I'm hearing, please watch your health. There's someone in your family who has a kidney disorder. There's something about kidneys here. Okay. Um, I'm getting something. I'm hearing kidneys. So please be aware if you guys are drinking or you're doing anything in regards to your kidneys that could be uh, potentially a problem. Please be aware. If not, this is someone in, in excuse me, it's someone in your environment. Okay. Um, Listen, your ancestors are showing me a lot of your tools. You guys come from a lineage, and this lineage is beautiful because there is an abundant amount of 
resources to create, to manifest. They are showing me a lot of um, baking rituals or like even, you know, baking, a lot of cooking in the kitchen, a lot of community support. So they're asking you, allow yourself to use the resources that you have right now to create the life that you want for yourself. With the Two of Swords here, okay, there's a lot of blocked heart chakra energy and they are worried about this. They're saying, you know, you've closed yourself off from the universe. There's been a level of not wanting to see maybe the things that you need to see because it's painful. There's a level of, you know, you're really using and mastering your intuition as well. But I also feel like in between this time, there's a need to make a decision. There is a stalemate. They're asking you, come out of this feeling of stagnation. Nothing can touch you if you don't let it. The only person who can destroy you, Power One, is you. I'm getting you guys are easily influenced by others or um there's a sensitivity around energy or maybe very empathic, very intuitive. They are saying create a sacred space where you will not feel that way. Um, it could be anything, you know, like I sit by my altar when I want to cry, when I want to pray. I always sit close to my altar with the photos of my father and my grandmother to remind me of my strength, to remind me of my willpower, to remind me of everything I can conquer in my life. And I like to do this close to them, close to, you know, my altar. And so they're saying really align yourself with a practice that's going to bring you more. It's going to bring you more more of a sense of peace be open to recognizing where you're even getting in your own way okay you don't always have to live in this state of uh, poverty consciousness or even in a state of darkness you don't have to live there you can make the changes you need to make your ancestors are saying i know this has been a painful time i'm hearing recovery there's a resolution coming there is a solution to what you're experiencing your ancestors are moving a lot of mountains for you they're also really focused on giving a lot of your other ancestors food i'm getting a lot of sharing food okay so they're asking you to share your resources with people who need it in this world if you have something to offer even if it's you know a, a piece of bread even if it's half of your lunch and you're not going to eat it give it to someone who needs it um, share, share your wealth, share your inner wealth, share your emotional wealth, your spiritual wealth, whatever it is that you have. Don't, don't pour out from an empty cup. Like if you don't have the money, don't go out and, and give someone money if you don't have it. But this is about really accessing that queen moon energy of tapping into the world through your intuition, through your compassion. Okay. Messages from your ancestors. They want you to know that they have been working on bringing you what you've asked them. Some of you guys have been asking for a move. Some of you guys have been asking for a peaceful transition from one place to another, whether this is wealth, whether this is, um, you know, work, whether this is a friends, family, a love, and they're hearing you. Okay. They, they want you to know they can hear you. They are working on it. They're also gifting you a bowl of fruit on your journey, which is very beautiful because fruit is an offering of prosperity and abundance. I'm hearing some of you guys are going to be traveling. As I said that, look what came up. The world card. Get ready for this because there is going to be travel in you, in the cards for you is what I'm getting. And they want you to know that you need to trust yourself. Trust that you can get out of where you're at. Nothing is final. No feeling is final. No event is final. This is about you elevating your lineage, okay, through marking your territory. I'm hearing mark your territory, mark your boundaries, what belongs to you in terms of your dreams. Don't let people, you know, don't let negativity penetrate you. Okay, don't let other people's dissatisfaction in life get to you because that is when you are surrendering your lineage. And this is not what your lineage is about. You guys are fighters. You guys, you, you guys conquer land and you fight for what you, you believe in. Okay, 
So your ancestors really, I'm hearing, trust the process. Come out of this feeling of scarcity or feeling like you need to fight. You know, they're asking you to come out of some sort of inner conflict that you've been having about your success or about your future. Okay. So let's go ahead and get some of these. We're going to finish it off here. So what do you need to know? What's going on in your life right now? Pile one, what do you need to know? Ancestors, what do they need to know? What's going on for you, pile one? What do they need to know? Some of you guys have been blocking your own healing process. And um, there's been a lot of running. Running away from the things that, listen, they're saying, we have gifts for you. Okay, the ancestors are saying, we have gifts for you. But we can't gift you the gifts if you're not going through a vision quest, if you're not healing. Okay? You have the power of lightning. You guys have the power to shake your life up or you have the power to shake anybody up. Your power is within electricity or even, you know, the power of commanding nature. What did I say about the rain? My vision of the rain. You guys hold the element of water as your spiritual gift from your ancestors, from your lineage. This is something that they use to purify, to help them heal, okay, and ascend. So they're asking you to tune in to meditate more. Some of you guys really need to meditate because right now your spirit, your psyche, you're all over the place or you're feeling really defeated. The way you kind of get back to your roots is through meditation and prayer, okay? So what do you need to know right now? What's happening for you, ancestors? What do you want to say? What do they need to know about what's going on? The changes in life, their changes, their transformation, success, victory. You guys are moving. Some of you guys want a new job. You want a new home. You want whatever it is. You're going to get it. Success is yours. Confidence. You guys are moving no matter what. No one is blocking your blessings. There's an open door. If you can see yourself opening that door, they are giving access for you to walk through that door. But if you cannot see yourself opening that door, that's the problem. Okay. So they want you to know in the future, you're going to have to stand in your power about something that's going to be unfair. And I feel this is ultimately, um, definitely a generational thing. Like you guys have to kind of align yourself with how can you bring more justice into your life? How can you bring more peace by speaking your truth, speaking honesty into your existence? Cause I feel there's been a lot of maybe even, um, kind of trying to silence you throughout your life and you guys are really working through this. Wow, look at that Ace of Cups. You guys got a lot going on, a lot of beautiful energy. How can you be more authentic to your emotions? Some of you guys have been suppressing your emotions for far too long, and I am getting a massive purification. You're gonna, you guys are going to go through a very drastic change that's going to really be, it's like a heart awakening experience. It's really going to open your heart, and I can even feel it. It's emotional. This could be the birth of a new idea. This could be a child. This could be the loss of a relationship and a beginning of something new. Either way, there's an enormous amount of love being, you know, poured into your life. What's coming towards you, the ancestors? What do you have for them? There's going to be a lot of searching within you guys, searching within, okay? Really looking at yourself. There's an offer coming through. That's going to be very emotional for you. And I feel some of you guys are going to really feel like you need to retreat or you need to do this alone. Um, recovery, recovery. I am having a vision of an eagle here fly over you. What are they recovering from? Listen, you guys have really endured a heavy, heavy dark night of the soul. There's a lot of PTSD here most recently. You guys are really scared to take this new leap. Your ancestors are saying, we're giving you this. We are giving you this opportunity. Please take it. We're, we're gifting you this. Take, take this opportunity to grow. 
Um, and this involves some kind of travel or movement of something big in your life. It could be about love too. There is such a fear because I'm getting, you guys have gotten used to things being so maybe toxic or hard or challenging that it's going to open your heart when you receive this, this news, like when you receive the blessings, but your ancestors are saying, listen, dive into the deeper meaning. This isn't just about good and bad, right? This isn't about good and bad. This is about the completion of your life cycle. You've incarnated with a blueprint. So not everything that's bad is bad. A lot of this is about soul growth and soul evolution. Does that make sense? So learning how to kind of balance that energy is really going to help you guys. Okay. So Let's go ahead and get one more. So what is the advice from the ancestors for Pal One? What is the advice? Some of you guys need to connect with other people. And even if you don't want to work with other people, even if you don't want to be best friends, start building a community. Maybe even make it creative so you guys don't feel kind of backed into a corner. Make something creative, but you need people, you guys. You guys have been isolating yourself too much because you are, you know, going through a very dark time. So this is saying extend yourself to your community. Your ancestors, they're, they're big on community, but they're also big on, on protecting yourself, okay? So they're not saying go, in, go into this foolishly. They're saying go into this with a level of wisdom that you don't need to defend yourself all the time. People love you. You're loved, okay? All right, let's go ahead and end pile two. All right, pile two, what's going on for you? messages from your ancestors. Let's see. I'm going to get a little sip, you guys. Excuse me. Okay. So what's going on for you? What's going on for you? Ancestors power too. I'm hearing restrictions. Wow, some of you guys have some serious, serious, powerful energy here. Listen, I'm getting a very massive rock that is on your path, okay? I'm almost getting, I'm hearing Saturn. You guys are going through either a Saturn return or you're going through a time where something is being denied to you for your own well-being. I don't know why. Something is being denied for your own well-being. I'm hearing protection. My ancestors are like, yes. I'm also getting a raven energy here. I'm getting an owl and I'm getting the number nine. So this is about some serious karmic cycles that you guys need to uh, accomplish or heal before you move forward. I am getting a lot of... Um, You guys are learning. You guys are learning self-mastery of doing things independently, and this is incredibly hard. This is incredibly hard. You guys are doing a lot on your own. Eternal wisdom. You guys are an old soul. Listen, your ancestors, they look very Caribbean or they look Moroccan. Um, they look very powerful, though. Even Egyptian. I'm getting a lot of um, power. I don't even know how to say it. This energy for me exudes power. You guys come from a very powerful lineage that command attention. And I'm hearing a lot of you guys have been working through clearing a lot of your ancestral uh, karmic debt. Okay, a lot of their generational trauma, a lot of uh, the pain that they didn't get to clear, you guys have been carrying on your back. And it's painful. So, sorry you guys, I paused. Uh, I always get emotional when I watch, um, you know, anything in regards to, to Jesus and his crucifixion. And I always think, like, 
I know, I know it's out, you guys. I play it out, I know. But this kind of reminds me of when he was carrying the cross and he kept going, you know? Um, he kept going. So it, it's, it's beautiful. You guys have a beautiful energy because towards the end, you know, um, he had asked God, like, give me a second. There's just like a level of accomplishment you guys are going through, which is absolutely beautiful. Like I, I am, I could feel the wave of like healing that you guys are going through. And, um, yeah, it's like, you guys are really, it's like, there's been a cloud and this cloud is going to be removed for you. Okay. You guys are carrying so much wisdom and I want you to know that, um, I want you to know that you guys have so many resources at your at your disposal. And I think a big part of why, you know, I'm getting so in my feelings <laughs> is because I'm almost getting you guys feel as if something was denied to you. Like something that you really wanted, something like I'm hearing the passage was denied or something that you felt like really... Um, really like was meant for you something here was you feel was denied to you and it may have brought a lot of resistance or even emotional upheaval because I'm, I'm all in my heart right now you know and I'm getting a lot of green energy I'm seeing a lot of green orbs so this is about your heart space you know and when it comes to your heart space you guys this is where God lives you know and if God isn't your religion you know the universe like this is this is where this is where the divine love lives and I feel there's a level of feeling really 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 disappointed in something that did not work and I feel like this is monumental this could be a big decision in terms of school maybe you guys had your heart set on a specific school maybe you had your heart set on you know a move or a transition something big but it was almost like something came down and your ancestors are saying listen you have to let go of whatever you're resisting what are you resisting right now is it your healing is it it's like your ancestors are saying we are we we ain't no punks you know they're saying listen you need to fight for what you believe in and what you want in life this this rock this obstacle is here because it is protecting you from something that maybe you're not ready for right now you will accomplish this as soon as you clear something that you need to clear, this is all about your guides, your ancestors. Everybody's got their hands in this pot, honey. Everybody is loving you. Everybody is loving you. Everyone's holding you. Everyone's supporting you. Okay? So there's a lack of movement right now, but I feel this is divinely guided. We have the resilience card. Um, ancestors, pal, too. What's going on here? Reach for the stars keep going keep going so i recently posted something about like don't try to move a mountain don't try to move this mountain but just dig underneath it okay dig underneath it go around it do something else to get you there but don't force something that isn't moving okay This could be in regards to um, your divine masculine. This could be in regards to a relationship or your relationship to your father. Maybe you guys are going through something right now with the, the masculine and the family. Okay. I'm almost getting this is about your your uh, inner masculine, your sacred masculine in terms of how you are moving in life. Okay. Whatever, listen, whatever was recently denied to you, I want you guys to understand this is not a curse, okay? This, this is a redirection to something better. 
ancestors. What do you want to say to Pal too? You come from a strong lineage of people who are guardians. They guard tombstones. I'm hearing they guard tombstones. They guard the dead. They guard people like Egyptians, like pharaohs. Like these people are very powerful. The, you know, you come from a lineage of, of spiritual ancestors that don't play. They protect you, even when that means that they cannot give you access to what you want. And it could be a relationship. It was really painful for you. They're asking you to please take care of your spirit. Take care of your psyche, you guys. Take care of your mental nutrition, your emotional nutrition. Take care of your, you know, your overall well-being. Um, don't, don't do things that are kind of sabotaging your health is what I'm getting, okay? So ancestors, let's see what else is going on. Take a different perspective. Okay? Again, is it really what what is it? Is it a blessing? Listen, will my ancestors say no? Okay. There's another way. They usually don't say no to me, but when they say no, there's something else, right? There's there's another way. There's another way. So something needs a redirection. You need to release release let go release you're still working on some karma okay you're working on dna dna karma this is about your lineage this is why they're not giving you access you need to learn something first and then there's going to be a completion with that full moon okay so what do your ancestors want you to know I'm having a vision of you guys healing your wings. You guys have wings. How beautiful. Very angelic. You're very beautiful. And you're healing. There's something that recently hurt your wings. Okay, so this is your ability to fly. Um, this is about restoring your faith. You guys have recently lost your faith. Your ancestors are saying we need to... We need to heal this before we give you access to whatever it is that you want. This was very traumatic. There's something that's very traumatic here, you guys. Okay? Yes, yes. We need to heal that. So, ancestors, what do you have to say? We are giving you a different perspective. We're giving you a different direction to align yourself with your truest highest purpose in life with your highest spirit some of you guys might have suffered with addictions alcoholism drugs something heavy though it really pulled you down or even just uh, maybe even self-harm or something you were doing in life that was very toxic to not just yourself but to your lineage okay and i'm hearing your ancestors felt disrespected okay they totally understand though they do they do um they want you to respect yourself because they are honorable and they they really cherish you. Your ancestors are hugging you. They are carrying you. You guys come from a legacy of royalty. They want to honor you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is about your harvest, you guys. You guys are waiting, okay? Building, establishing. Something needs time. Something needs to, like a little bit of a pause, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six. Um, generosity okay the best way to bring you back to your faith is to give to other people even if you feel like you don't have anything to give they want you to be charitable um, a smile smile at someone who's angry on the street okay I do that all the time because I had someone do that to me I was going through a really rough 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 time and in the morning, I went for a walk, and this man just gave me a beautiful, very holy, very holy man. <laughs> um, he gave me a beautiful smile, and it, boom, instantly gave me energy. And that was divinely orchestrated. So they're saying, how can you bring more balance into your life? Number one, emotional balance, health, uh, mental, okay, mental balance, like bring some kind of purification 
you know, bring some peace into your life, but also how can you give to other people? This is a part of your karma, you guys, your lineage. They want you to give. They're saying you need to open and extend your arms, even to the people who aren't worthy or what you perceive as not worthy. You know, what's that saying? Um, anoint me and as I sit with my enemies and let watch my cup overflow with or something like that. This is what that is. The hardest thing to do is to love somebody despite them betraying us, right? That's compassion, though. Because anyone who hurts somebody is hurting. They're not well. There's a disease. There's something, right? So they're saying, bless, bless your life with balance. Bring, bring things into perspective. Bring yourself back to balance. Retreat. They want you to surrender the fight. Listen, stop, stop. Just whatever it is you've been doing, I'm getting a lot of just like anxiety around something that was put on your path as a perceived blockage, okay? They are saying, listen, you have so much wisdom right now. You are learning so much about your resilience, your perseverance. It doesn't mean it's going to be forever. This is just a small pause, the gift of wealth your ancestors are on their way and maybe you're already kind of going through it they're giving you the gift of wealth but they need you to see a different perspective in regards to your spirit and your faith in yourself and humanity they're big on humanity you guys this your ancestors coming through right now they are very powerful and they want you to give the wisdom that you've learned to other people one way or another i'm getting a lot of hands so some of you guys are very kinesthetic so work with your hands it's a alchemic experience for you you know make something out of clay or play the guitar listen to music tune into your your spirit through creative outlets okay before mm. there's an imbalance here with your inner security and your outer security so your ancestors are saying we are gifting you a new perspective maybe even a new home for some of you but even with this new change the the obstacle is not so much about I'm hearing your obstacle will be removed when you conquer your fears. So what are they fearful about, please? Ancestors repel to you. There's a lot of suppression of anger. There's a lot of suppression of your traumatic experiences there's been a lot of ego here okay a lot of ego which is why the six of pentacles is, is in reverse maybe there's been a lot of me against the world i'm not giving I, I don't care or even if it's not that bad maybe this is like an internal dialogue and your ancestors are saying we cannot lift this obstacle until you surrender to the full experience of ro what i call rose alchemy of opening your heart okay you have to heal this anything involving the masculine as well you guys maybe there's a distorted masculine within you guys maybe there's an over there's an over amount of pushing or forcing something or a lack of okay it could go into extremes they want you to heal balance balance you guys create balance there's so there's so much beauty in this 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 time they want you to just hold on they want you to know that even though there is a temporary stagnation this isn't the end okay this isn't the end and you have the power of resiliency you are not going to fall apart you're going to make it and there is wealth for you at the end of this cycle i'm talking about inner wealth and i'm talking about outer wealth this is not just about you know um money in the bag right it's an overall view so what's coming towards you what do the ancestors want to say to you some of you guys are saying um, i'm hearing by default you're needing to stay at 
uh, someone's home or a family home, I'm hearing retreat, um, a place that maybe you didn't want to stay, but you're going to do it anyway because you kind of had to, maybe this blockage was in the way, um, I'm getting a lot of, uh, also, what's coming up is going to be where you come from, you guys, your fourth house, uh, your lineage, um, your mother, your father, a lot of kind of memories in regards to your past experiences that have led you here. So a lot of you guys are going to be working through your childhood memories, okay? What's coming up is there is a divine intervention in the tower in reverse. So something here is falling apart in regards to a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Um, your ancestors are saying, listen, maybe this is even a false belief of of life. Maybe this is a prejudice. Maybe this is for me, the king of swords in reverse is someone who is not using their mind for good. They're using their mind to manipulate or they're using their mind in a negative way because this is, you know, what they've learned. So example, when I see, um, you know, the king of swords in reverse, this is something about even racism, you know, something you learn through maybe your family or, it could be anything involving where there's a lack of justice to yourself and to others. But I'm getting some of you guys are trying to control something right now that's coming up for you. And it could definitely involve love. It could involve a, um, you know, your divine masculine, because I did see a masculine here. It could involve a relationship that you think is going to be for you. Maybe you guys have been holding on to this to dear life and you've added like your whole, um, I'm getting, you've added like your whole self-esteem or your self-worth based on this person. And what's coming up is the truth. The truth is going to be revealed that this person has not been honest with you. They have not been on, on the up and up with you and you cannot control something that is meant to come down. You cannot control something that is meant to fall apart, not, not because it's, it's cruel, but because it's not necessarily your path right now, or this person needs to learn a very hard lesson in life. And this is going to lead you to an awakening. Both of you guys are going to move into an awakening of making a decision. For others, this is about your whole perspective or even like your past really kind of you're you're transforming the way you're looking at things it's no longer going to be with a prejudice or with negativity you're really seeking answers okay but something needs to kind of crumble before you can um before you can transform it something really needs to kind of clear it its way before you can come into this sense of self-love Maybe there's a realization here that something you've been kind of conjuring in your mind isn't really what it is. I'm hearing false perspective or false beliefs or false false thinking or something was an illusion here, okay? I am getting that this is going to lead to a lot of um, mastering yourself, your spiritual self. You're really going to be meditating a lot. You're really going to feel very inspired to pause, to reflect, to take in the moment, Okay. Some of you guys are dealing with two people. I'm getting a Leo, Sag, Aries, and then I'm also getting you guys might be fire signs, but some of you guys are really having to transform this inner self-worth thing you got going on. And maybe this is a big, big reason of why there's also an obstacle, because if your ancestors let you pass, you would not be loving yourself, you guys, and they can't have you continuing this path because it, the weight of this resilience is getting heavy. Some of you guys are maybe pushing forward without having faith and your ancestors are saying, we can't do that. You have to come back to your spiritual pursuits. You have to come back to your spiritual practice before we let you, you know, continue on over the bridge, which is a beautiful energy. So advice from the ancestors. Wow, pal two is long. I'm so sorry. There's going to be a lot of movement. Once you conquer, there's, there's, there's going to be a lot of movement. I'm hearing, listen, it's going to be open. The gates are opening for you. Everything you wanted is going to, it's going to open for you. You got to have faith, but you need to conquer your fears. Conquer whatever fear it is that you're working through right now. Okay. That was beautiful. Thank you so much for holding space for me while I got emotional. Okay.
Okay, let's go and see. Alright, pile three. Pile three, let's see what the ancestors have to say to you. Okay, ancestors, let's see, what do you have to say to pile three? Um, let's see. Redesign, redesigning. Listen, your ancestors really need you guys to redesign something in your life right now because it's a part of their lineage and this is big, like your lineage. Um, I'm getting a lot of family here clinging to you while you move on. Um, a lot of you guys have been in a position where you have had to hold on to family identity or something in regards to people they're holding on to you like i'm getting a lot of clinging or hands holding on to you and a lot of you guys are releasing this and you're getting on this bus and you are moving away whatever is happening right now in your life is divinely guided so trust it some of you guys are wondering am i supposed to move yes you are I'm hearing divinely guided. Are you supposed to go to school somewhere else? Yes. Are you supposed anything that is about your identity and standing in your power is really important. Okay. So I am getting a lot of energy around, um, releasing any fear of judgment, release shame, release needing to attach yourself to your ancestors are saying, listen, a part of the way you uplift the lineage is going to be about releasing your identity to other people or even your community. There's a, a need to surrender and become the sun. You guys have serious manifesting power. Your ancestors have been helping you manifest whatever you want. Whatever you're thinking, it's manifesting itself into reality. And they're asking you to let this be your own journey. Let this be your own journey. Do not cling to an identity that doesn't belong to you. I'm hearing false security. Some of you guys think that staying where you are right now is going to be the best move. This is your ancestors are saying, listen, you need to create your own reality right now. Look at the beauty in your life. This is about your individual beauty. Do you feel beautiful on the inside? The outside, you know, whatever. The outside is outside. How do you feel inside? We wear a suit. We wear, you know, a mask, what I call the public face, right? How are you feeling on the inside? This is what needs to be nurtured. You guys might be manifesting a lot of money, a lot of success, a lot of power, but how are you feeling inside? What I said power and look what came out. Listen. Your ancestors are asking you to take a new perspective in terms of your identity. Who are you? Who are you without your friends? Who are you without your family? Who are, who are you, right? In a good way. Like, do you have an identity without the relationship of your, your parents, your friends, your community? This is really important, you guys, because a lot of you guys are very chameleon. I'm getting a lot of Piscean energy. So you might have a tendency to become the people that you're around okay there's a need for boundaries your ancestors are saying you, you're, you're moving into extremes where you're giving too much of your power you're surrendering your power in whatever way in your life right now i'm hearing you've been trying to accommodate everybody you're trying to accommodate different personalities and your ancestors are like no no we're not doing this do not right? Like, do not, this is not the time to do it. This is not the time to surrender your power. Ancestors, what's going on here for pile three? I'm hearing thunder. There's a lot of thunder. Listen, you guys are, are magicians. Whew, yes. You guys have been surrendering some major power. But you know what's beautiful? I'm smiling because I'm seeing 
this energy of you guys creating you're you're creating and you're mastering these spiritual gifts that, that your ancestors are giving you right now some of you guys have been gifted gifted the power of thunder through your hands so what that means to me is you have the ability to manifest all energy if you're working with candle magic do it because it'll it'll be great you have the power of manifesting through uh reiki healing like you know how to use energy whatever you're doing you know how to use very very strong energy um the way you want it to okay your ancestors are saying look we are gifting you tremendous power but you have to let something go with that death card you got to let something go in order to allow us to give you something new you guys are are literally holding on to something that feels very familiar right now and your ancestors are saying you have completed the cycle let go let go the need to hold on to whatever it is that you're holding on to you're moving on Some of you guys have really tried to make family. Um, it's like you're you're forcing, you're forcing unity in places that maybe there doesn't need to be. Maybe you're you're sacrificing a lot of your identity to fit in. Is what I'm getting. You're sacrificing a lot of your identity to fit in. So how can you release this need to fit in? rebalance your focus you guys you guys have the power to manifest listen if you guys are struggling financially if you guys are struggling finding a job finding a new man a new woman a new friend you guys have the power your ancestors are are literally powerful magicians they are shamans they are healers they are medicine women medicine men they you come from a strong lineage of power maybe some dark power but and some light power but you come from a strong lineage of power you guys are using this energy i'm hearing redirect that focus inward there's too much of a focus outward on something outside of you right now your ancestors are saying work on your projects please work on yourself with such determination that you're not even phased by whatever's happening around you if some of you guys feel very um left out in the cold or there's a broken home syndrome here you feel you know home is very sacred to you so you might even be a leo sag aries you might be a cancer uh cancer leo cusp and they they understand this and they want you to create the home that you never had but you have to have a determination and focus to do this otherwise you're going to fall short okay you're going to fall short and you can't have that so i am getting a lot of energy around um fight fight for what belongs to you fight for your future you guys don't get caught up in people's petty drama i'm hearing aunts cousins all kinds of stuff people on the outside listen you guys ain't got time for it. Don't give your power away, okay? Just don't surrender your power to things that don't matter. They don't matter. If they don't matter to you in your future, don't give it energy. I'm getting a lot of pesky energy, like a lot of like parasitic people in your environment or people who are constantly pecking at you. You gotta you gotta literally take take on a new path, please. Your ancestors are like, listen, please take on a new path. Ancestors, what do they need to know about what's coming towards them? I'm hearing the element of fire, death and rebirth, creation, success. You're about to be publicly recognized for something really big. This is going to be big. I'm hearing worldwide, international. This is going to be big. It's a gift for you in terms of transforming any codependent energies the minute you step into your power you're going to see this beautiful gift given to you 
This is a six of swords. You're going to move on to something better, but I'm hearing public recognition. You're moving, you're traveling. There's something here where you are going to literally level up your career. People are going to know you. I'm hearing a lot of financial wealth, a lot of financial abundance. Um, the five of pentacles is about healing from any hardships and finances, but you have to stay determined to the, the, the cause. Do not let people pull you. You need to set standards for yourself. You know what I used to tell someone I used to know is if you don't set boundaries for yourself, people are going to set them for you. And I don't think you want that, right? If you don't know yourself, people are going to drag you through the mud. Not because they want to drag you through the mud. Maybe they do, but ultimately they don't know themselves. So what they're doing is dragging you into their story and you don't want that, right? Your ancestors are saying, listen, get clear, get focused, work on your crown chakra. Maybe some of you guys have some blocked crown chakra energy. Meditate, get focused on your goals. Who cares about what the family is doing right now? What are you doing to make you happy is what I'm getting. There is such a strong need to really pull back that energy, back to its center, back to yourself, back to where it really belongs, okay? And... um refocus your energy your mind your mind needs rest your mind needs meditation you guys ancestors what's coming towards pal three a revolution wow some of you guys are opening this beautiful can of abundance of power i'm hearing power if this is my pile you guys have been waiting for a spiritual gift or you're waiting for something to open i'm hearing an open channel to the universe you guys have been waiting for something in regards to spiritual gifts or power and it's happening for you but you need to surrender to something right now even surrendering to your own mental health maybe there's a need to spend some time alone you guys be more clear with the queen of swords be more mind over matter like how can you bring more mental clarity mental power into the situation okay give to yourself the way you give to others and allow people to give to you i'm hearing bring order bring balance into your life what do they need to give up i'm actually curious well what do they need to give up ancestors <sighs> girl by that whole pack came out Okay, too many ancestors again. Listen, give up, give up the illusion of things that aren't there. Listen, you guys, it's like I'm getting, there's a level of confusion. And then you get so confused and so afraid to make a decision that there's a stalemate. Let go, let go of stagnation. You guys got this. You guys, listen, you guys are the high priestess. If you guys want to be mediums or there's a gift that's going to be handed to you pretty soon. Okay. I'm hearing. Listen, you guys are going to be able to manifest by just looking at something. If you want something, boom, you could easily manifest it, but you need to learn how to do it. They're gifting you the power of the wand, what I call the staff for the wand, where you can use this as a way to really collect all energy, but you need to be ready for it. And in order to be ready for it, you guys need to go down the spiritual path. I'm hearing you guys have been the underdog in your life. Like maybe you've been around spiritualists all your life or you've been kind of interested in spirituality and you've always had someone better doing it or you've always had someone around you who um, was a master at something and you were always like, man, I really wish I could do that. You guys are going to be literally leveling up to be able to manifest anything you want because your ancestors are that strong. Your ancestors were people who really believed in hard work and dedication, but ultimately they manifested through their beliefs and their rituals. I'm hearing bone casting. I'm hearing really, really, really praying and really kind of like the Aztecs, you know, they really honored the earth and, you know, they did things for the gods and the deities. It was very, very terrible, but, but it was a ritual in honor of their deities and honor, honor of higher power. And this is what you guys have. 
You guys have strong ancestors who will give you whatever it is that you want, but you have to be able to access that. Okay, meditate, you guys. You guys really need this meditation. And I'm also getting, sorry, this is the Empress. Listen, you guys need to speak abundance into your existence. Speak it, speak abundance so you can receive. Do not speak scarcity. Some of you guys are gonna, um, you're definitely receiving news of a child, a new birth, a new creation in, in work. There's something here that's that's brewing. August is gonna be the month for you, okay? All right, you guys. I hope that helped. Bye.